Hi, this is Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and today I want to walk you through a couple of interesting settings in Analysis Workspace that give you granular control over your visualizations and make sure that they're always displaying the data uh, that you intend for them to display. Um, so I've got a, a project loaded up here, and uh, I've got a number of visualizations on here. You may, as an, sort of as not as an aside, but just to give some context, uh, you may have noticed these yeah, little yeah. colored dots next to your visualizations in your data tables. Um, these are these dots allow you to very quickly visually see which uh, tables a visualization uh, is based off of. So, uh, purple dot and purple dot; these two are related. Uh, blue dot and blue dot. I guess it's sort of a Cyan, maybe. Um, these two, these two are related. So I've got my marketing channels displayed. Now, when you click on the dot in a visualization, it allows you to manage the data source that that visualization is based on. So this is actually important because when you drag a new visualization onto a ta onto a project, let's say I just add a bar graph, uh, we the project tries to guess what data table you wanted that that graph to be based on, but it is going to sometimes get that wrong. So you can click here and switch that data source and you'll see that the data now is displaying uh, my most popular content, which is exactly, uh, in this case, let's say what I had intended. Uh, now there are a couple of other settings in there that are worth knowing. Uh, static Viz Sync and Rolling Viz Sync. These allow you to control how the visualization changes uh, or doesn't change as new data comes in or as, as time changes and, and uh, the contents of a data table uh, change. Static VisSync, uh, if I were to select, let's look at, at marketing channels here. Uh, let's say I want to create a graph that always focuses on social and affiliate. I don't care where social and affiliate are ranked among my many channels, I always want to, to graph social and affiliate. To do that, I would select social and affiliate, as I just did, and hit static viz sync. That is going to lock in, oh, did it go? There we go. That is going to lock in social and affiliate so that no matter where they rank, right now they're number two and number four, but even if they were to drop down to number 18 and number 25, uh, those would always be the line items that are graphed. And if those don't show up in my data set at all, then I, get, I just get no data. Um, so that is static viz sync. Uh, if I were to switch to rolling viz sync, let's let me select a different set here. We'll do the top three, and you'll notice it didn't update because I, uh, even though I changed the selection, and that's because I set it to static viz sync. It's always going to do social and affiliate. Now, uh, if I do, uh, if I change this back to marketing channel data, now so now I've got my three selected items visualized. I changed my data uh, data source back to marketing channel data. Uh, now if I go to rolling viz sync, uh, what's, what it's going to do is it's always going to graph items number two and two through four in my marketing channel data table. So as these values change, maybe email, which is number five, moves up to number two, and affiliate becomes number three, and social becomes number four. Uh, over time, as, you know, as more data comes in, uh, this graph is always going to reflect items number two through four uh, in that data table. Um, so great way to, as you know, data, data of course is dynamic and, and new data is coming in all the time. Uh, if I want to focus on always showing, you know, the top five items, for example, uh, or top ten items from a table, I can do that. Uh, or I have that option with the static viz sync to lock it in to specific line items. Uh, and uh, so hopefully that gives you a better control over your visualizations and allows you to better tell the story that you want to tell uh, using your data. There are a number of other settings that you can control with visualizations, but we'll have to save that for another video. Thank you.